I check the ignition system's operation as part of the before takeoff checklist. But should I do an in-flight magneto check? If so, how do I do it? How does it differ from the check done on the ground? This time in the ABS hangar, in-flight magneto check. We're all familiar with magneto checks performed before takeoff. During engine run-up, you select a single magneto switch. The RPM drops and the engine runs smoothly. If you have all-cylinder engine monitoring, you'll see the EGTs for all cylinders rise on a single magneto. All EGTs and CHTs show expected temperatures. Go back to both. The RPM rises and the EGTs drop to where they were before the check. Then select the other magneto. Again, the RPM drops, the EGTs all rise, and the CHTs continue to read as expected. The engine runs smoothly. Return to both magnetos, and everything returns to its pre-check indications. Some ignition anomalies are more obvious at higher operating temperatures. To detect anomalies and catch potential failures sooner, occasionally perform an in-flight magneto check at moderate to cruise power. Some issues become more apparent at lean of peak mixture settings. When lean of peak, small changes in combustion cause larger variations in power output, so anomalies stand out. If your airplane runs well lean of peak, and you're comfortable with lean of peak operations, use a lean of peak mixture setting for your in-flight magneto check. Now here's how to do it. Now let's look at an in-flight magneto check at a high power setting and see how that might differ, or if it differs at all, from the magneto check on the ground. Power is set. I'm going to switch to the right magneto position. No change in the propeller speed because the controllable pitch prop takes care of that. But I do see a difference in the exhaust gas temperatures and most importantly the engine continues to run smoothly. All cylinders have good CHTs and EGTs. Back to the both position and the EGTs drop. We'll let them stabilize again. Now I'll try the left magneto switch position. And we get the same effect. An increase in the indicated exhaust gas temperatures. All six cylinders are firing normally. Temperatures all look good. And the engine continues to run smoothly. So this is an in-flight magneto check to avoid situations that might be masked at lower power settings. Back to the both position. And the EGTs drop back down to where they were before. Everything runs smoothly, and the test is complete. An occasional in-flight magneto check, perhaps monthly, helps you better evaluate your ignition system's operation. A few more comments about an in-flight magneto check. Don't do an in-flight magneto check with inexperienced or nervous passengers on board. The change in engine noise may be unnerving. If you have experienced passengers or other pilots on board, brief them before you begin your check. Be extremely careful not to accidentally turn the magneto switch to off. If you do, don't immediately flip the switch back on or fuel pumped into the exhaust system may explode and damage the exhaust or muffler. Give fuel time to blow out or evaporate. Perform your in-flight check at moderate power to full cruise. You won't see propeller RPM change during an in-flight check. The prop governor adjusts to maintain propeller speed when within the governing range. EGT, CHT, and if the engine is turbocharged or turbonormalized, TIT, should give the same indications they do during a magneto check on the ground. 
except the temperatures will be higher. In addition to the routine checks, perform an in-flight magneto check on the acceptance flight after any engine or ignition system work or spark plug replacement. If you see any anomaly, have it investigated immediately. You're doing this magneto check for a reason. Follow through if it points to a problem. Performing an in-flight magneto check is an important diagnostic tool to help assure the safety of your Beechcraft's engine. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.